to merch going out to different people today. And we've also got these new t-shirts. Do you like it? The new logo? I'll try and put these on the website um, a little bit later. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna do today, we've got hair down. So we need to go and turn that. Um, I think we've got some cattle going as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy day. Stay tuned, see what we get up to. See if this sun stops out like this. Hoping it does for this hair. First things first, we'll jump in the daff and we'll uh, get these cattle taken. And he's just turned up, easier somewhere. Woo, aircon on full this morning. Jesus, it's early already and it's already scorched you. And I keep saying already, already, okay, already. So we are all loaded up and ready to go. Um, yeah, next time you see me, probably be back in the yard. Oh, I am back in the yard. We'll see what these guys are up to. Looks like they're changing blades on the mower. Like they're doing something with the mower. Um, my dad went mowing yesterday. I'm guessing something's damaged on it. That's all I'm guessing. But um, I'll find out in a second. So it turns out they were just putting a bit of weld on the end because it wasn't bringing it into a row quite right. So it wasn't actually any damage on it, which is good. So Andy and Connor have just been getting the tether on. How's it going, Andy? Right. Greasing it? Greasing. Nice. Come all sure, all right? Yeah, it's very good. Good, 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 good. We're going to get a few cattle out. It's a bit hot for getting cattle out, but um, it's got to be done, so we're on it. I'm gonna go with the chainsaw now because Andy's got to get into that field. Um, if you remember when I was mowing, it's very, very uh, bad for getting in. I'm just gonna try and make it a little bit safer so we can see when we're getting out. I already took quite a bit out, but as you can see, like even if we're here, you can't really see around this corner. So I have to take a bit more off this uh, these bits that we coppiced a few years ago be able to see down the road if i'm honest so that the people on the road can see us because we're still gonna be a little bit like having to inch out and hoping that people stop us it's just the uh where the gateway is hi we can't reach but as you can see we've made a bit of a way here so we're just gonna try see if we can knock some branches off with a loader hopefully Maybe not. Oh, I thought we were having a bit of success then, but we're not really. It'd be much easier with the uh, telehandler. Tell you what though, that's making it a lot better for us to see. A lot safer. That's better, we can actually see a bit now. I mean, if we're at this point, the bonnet of the tractor's stuck out a fair way, but at least that car will be able to see us coming out a bit better. So Andy's gonna get this all folded out. I think we'll do a time-lapse on that. All folded out now. And, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. He's got to leave it down all the time though. This is a bit of a problem we're having with this coon. Now there might be, um, a headland kit that we can get for it, but I... It's what? Too flat. Too flat? Well, just, just try it. So he's got it spun up now. I'm going forward. Yeah, it looks like we just need to alter the pitch a little bit because it's not picking it all up. Yeah, right. It's looking, it's not um, quite going down as far as we want. Um, so we just tighten the top link in so it brings the pitch down and then hopefully Andy will uh, be picking up all the grass now.
all set up right now. Do you want to just lift it up so we can see what happens? So when Andy comes to the end of the run, his other side, this one's not really off the ground. Watch when Andy puts it down, that's the, yeah, that's the thing. Those dig into the floor. So you imagine if that was spinning, it'd be whack, whack, whack on this side. So it means we can't actually lift it up when you're using it, unless you buy an extra seven, eight hundred pound kit to uh, be able to lift it up. Now, if that's not wrong, then I don't know what is. As a lot of you know, we have many manholes on this farm. So we often have to pick it up just to get over them, let alone on the headlands where we like to pick it up so we're not thrashing this grass to pieces on the headlands, you see. So we need to be able to pick it up and yeah, can't, it just does not make sense that that just arches and you can't do it. I mean, whatever, hopefully Kuhn will sort it out, but yeah, we'll see. We have Andy to have his picnic by the, uh, by the river. Hey, you'll get this done anyway this afternoon and the other loads of grass my dad did a bit of mowing yesterday as i said um so we've got a bit down um and maybe bail it up on thursday something like that um it's uh, it's a plan it's nice and clean this river so this afternoon me and connor are going to go down to um a horse stables and just shift a, a muck hill it's not something that we uh, ordinarily do but we, uh, we like to help this guy out so we'll uh, we'll go and do that right so i'll set off and connor will follow me we'll uh, we'll get this job done and yeah, the plan is to shift all that so it's tipping our first load off here up she goes Says. There we go. Got a rabbit up in front. Not a black one though. You don't want to get out of the way, you just want to still uh, be in his way, I think. He's got road, so oh, he's gone. Connor's on his way back now. get back into uh, this driveway it's a little bit tight as long as he takes it wide he will be fine as long as he remembers that the weight blocks on the front of the tractor it's like he's got it plenty of room yeah, he's cracked it. As I say, it's a little bit tight, this drive. It is just about as wide as the uh, tractor and trailer. But no, nice work there. Well, it's all going down now, but still plenty to go up, I think. You see, I think I've disturbed a bee's nest or a wasp nest or something, so. Um, you can bet that I'm stopping in this cab 100% with the windows and doors shut. Buzzing all around this cab. Oh, Connor's back with a, another trailer, empty trailer for me to fill. Hopefully we'll get it in this load. Or we might have a little bit left. Somewhere near. We're somewhere near done anyway. Right, I'm back in the yard. I've fetched you some. Connor's fetched the TM. Uh, we'll see what's happening. But it's about time that um, I take this back to Bristol Street Motors in Sheffield. I will miss it, I think. Very, very nice to drive. Like electric, the powertrain of the electric just is nice. No changing gear, it's just, just go, and it goes as well. It really does go. And then you just hear the engine kicking in every now and then to charge the batteries. But I could really live with that. No range anxiety. You just put your petrol in there. Don't 
plug it in or anything like the petrol does the work but it's converting it to electric to then use and then obviously when we're going downhill or braking you're getting some of your energy back into the battery so the uh, miles per gallon is uh, is pretty decent on it really um like 40s i think i'll get in um I mean, if you absolutely gun it then you can bring that down but um yeah it's good i don't know if we're looking at farmers what it would be like at towing there's a few people said electric motors and stuff no good for towing but as a large family car to get people about with four wheel drive i rate that like basically for my job never do any towing at all um it'd be uh, it'd be perfect yeah i'm gonna miss it but we get the speed back don't we of the s3 i suppose but um, and the roar of the engine but you yeah, know that's it that's a nice car that is really nice so it's done 3,700 miles and a thousand of them have been done by yours truly over the long weekend i've driven the same um, um as six months worth of driving of that car <laughs> look at this what reprobates have we got here now oh my god the bod I'm not doing you, Phil. You're, come on yeah. <laughs> What sort of place do you think this is? Hmm. Eh? Hmm. How are you going? How are you doing guys? Good, good. Fetch me some hair. Yeah. Is it top quality? Show it off. Best in your <laughs> <show>. <laughs> Best in your <laughs> Andy's back too. Yeah. Alright, get it all done? Yeah. Brilliant. I'm sad to see it go Andy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Keep it. Let's take it back. You're not gonna get me I on need now. a big I'll have your top off. What? You're not gonna get me on now, are you? Yeah. What? Right, my mum's waiting for me anyway to get set off. <clears throat> Do you like it? You need this key. No, no, there's a start button. In front of you. That start button there. No, 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 in the centre. Honestly, it's like teaching an ape. Is it ready? Yeah. And then uh, that's drive. Yeah, it picks up. Yeah. Mr. B's opening the gate for my dad because he's been cutting thistles in the field. Oh, he's a good lad, isn't he, eh? Get these gates sorted out. Do you mind you and your, your camera and your video? Get these gates sorted out. <laughs> oh, whoa. Well, here we are at Bristol Street Motors Sheffield. We'll find somewhere to park this and, uh, and drop him in the keys. So yeah, that's it. Done. Locked up. Finished with. The Nissan Aria. That was before electric then. I reckon there's about 300 mile range, I think, when I was speaking to uh, Jamie and Jake when I was last here. It's quite quite some range, really. Further than my Audi's got. Yeah, I can only get like 240 miles to the tank. So that, that's actually got more range than a petrol car. Or my petrol car, anyway. I'll just uh, leave these guys to it now. Really good atmosphere in that Bristol Street Motors. Um, Jamie and Jake really like bounce off each other in conversation and um, yeah, it looks like everybody sort of really enjoys working there, which is nice. Um, it's nice to have that sort of environment, isn't it? Especially if you come into, if you're wanting to buy a car or get your car fixed or whatever. Right, I better get back in the uh, Discovery now and um, get going. I've just got back to the farm. Um, it's gone five o'clock. Andy and Connor have, have uh, gone now. And yeah, just a few cattle to check and the job's done for me too. Now, tomorrow, um, I'm going to cereals. That wasn't the plan. I was gonna go on Wednesday because I thought that something was happening in the evening with Hills Green Market. Anyway, turns out, I've spoke to them today and they're like, no, it's happening Tuesday night, Joe. Uh, not like me to get things wrong, is it? But, um, yeah, so I'm going tomorrow. Me and John Deere Mick um, are gonna be there, having a little walk around. So if, uh, 
if you see us there come and say hello um and yeah we'll try and get some footage of some nice big tractors um some growing plots all bits and bobs like that and then also Hills Green Marketing are doing their marketed to farming farmers report at the end of uh, at the end of the day, so um, that's what I wanted to uh, to go and listen to and see uh, see them guys again. So that should be fun. Ollie's there as well, so we'll catch up with him. Right, anyway, um, I think that's about everything I needed to say. If you've liked it, press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and hopefully see some of you at Cereals tomorrow. Business. See you later, guys. Bye.